We are nailing them. Oh, that's so good. Mythical group god. Boom! Wow! Look at them. <laughs> Isn't this awesome looking? Look at me. Yeah, at night is when this guy looks the best. I'm a little flying squiggle wiggle worm. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here on the Omega server, having so much fun doing flips! Man, oh man, guys! How you doing today? Hope you're doing good, me personally! I'm doing pretty spectacular. Yeah, that's right, because last episode, we tamed up yet another amazing unique. Yes, uranium. It is a rubble golem. And man, is it strong. Yeah, 36 times multiplier. I do believe meltdown brutal. We also upgraded our godlike cosmic dire bear. Yes, to the cosmic god. It is so cool. Let me see. What else did we do? We took on... The, uh, the, the ethereal group god, yes! And we have to decide today who we want to use the group god soul on. Whether it's going to be the jellyfish, the basilisk, or if we use it on Misty. I don't know. I'll check the comments in a little bit, see what you peeps said. But anyway, why don't we kick off today going on the hunt for more uniques. There are hundreds of them. We need to get as many as possible. So wish me luck, guys. And uh, yeah, let's go out on the hunt. And please, 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 before I forget, do not forget to show that amazing support for the series if you're enjoying it by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. We have a prime impulse. Really good level. This one actually. Uh, oh, can, can I net you, please? Can I? Awesome. This one actually, uh, I think, could be potentially usable. I think that's pretty cool. Let's uh, switch off, though, to something else to help us knock them out. Come here, Toxic Twister. All right. Yeah, as we get to these, like, prime guys. They, oh, I forget that he can teleport. That's crazy. All right. Come on, bro. Is that going to be enough? Nice. All right. Thanks, Twister. You get packed up. You take your one, two, three kibble and starve out. Wow, you know, this one, possibly, because we haven't used a single Paragon for a Carno yet this season. Um, we might be able to make this guy uh, completely leveled up. That would be pretty cool, because it's a great level one. All right, let's continue on. Wow, I just found a cave I've never been into before. It's in the, uh, uh, what, what's, what's it called? What's the best way to show it? It is in this place right here. It was like in a tree stump or something. But uh, there's, this is like where all the glow pets are. It's so cool. Look at it. It's a Colossus glow tail. My goodness. All right. We'll have to come back here later because I had been searching for a good place to get uh, glow pets. All right. Anything cool? Ooh, that looks cool. What is that? <gasps> no way. That is epic. We have to get this thing, guys. We have to get it. Oh, virus, plague zombie. Ooh, that's, that's a scary one. All right, uh, let's make sure all the other glow pads that might harass us. What is going on with you, bro? What is going on with you? Psychosis, yeah, not good. Dude, that one's so cool. I'm gonna wait for a higher level one, but yeah, definitely score. All right, so. Let's see if we can find this guy again. I just wanted to get rid of any guys that might aggro. All right. And one shot knockout. Beautiful. All right. And here you go. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Go away. All right. We got him. Oh, my lordy. And... Beautiful. That is a nice one. 
Wow. Very, very cool. All right. Let's carry on. What a day this is turning out to be. All right. Found another one. And that's a Colossus Snow Owl. That's really cool. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. I can't deal with you right now, bro. I wish I could, but uh, that's a good level, too. Someday, someday. That's the first Colossus one I've ever seen. Anywho, uh, more importantly, look at this. It's called Dryad. Let's get this guy. It is super cool. So it is a reflect fairy. And it kind of looks like a wood one, doesn't it? Uh, oh, Rosie. No, no, no. Come on. Go away, piggy. Piggy! All right, let's see if we can get this guy. All right, awesome! All right, and very high health, so we should be able to knock him out, no problem. Sweet! All right, we clear? All right, how many kibble? Nice, and just one kibble, too. And bada-boom. Epic. Epic! All right! Man, killer day today. All right, guys. Doing pretty good today. We got a Paragon Yudi. Boom! Yup, let's make our Yudi even stronger. Total score. Awesome. Let's see what else we can find. All right, and we have... Another Paragon. This one was a Saber. Oh, we're doing so good. I also just got... Check it out, guys. I got a Shadow Mane. I didn't even see it. I honestly didn't even see it. I just was smashing stuff with my RG, and I heard a Paragon pop out. I'm like, what's that? A Dilo or something? It was a Shadow Mane. Totally, totally not. So, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade our guy again. I still am thinking about... Doing the uh, the cosmic group god again to uh, to upgrade one of our shadow main, so I think that would be pretty epic. Anyway, uh, there's still plenty of paragons I'm sure around the map, but uh, there's a paragon monster right now. So why don't we go head on over and uh, maybe I can show you the final kills of that. What an excellent day, guys. Seriously, so many epic new paragons. Plus, crazy good uniques this time. Finally improved on our impulse. Very, very cool. An actual, like, usable level. And it's a prime, so not too, too hard to upgrade. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Dryad. This guy is pretty awesome. So, it is a reflect fairy type. I think that's our first reflect type. Yeah, pretty neat. And virus, which I think is my favorite. A plague zombie. It is a really cool skin for it. I, I do like that. And oh, it doesn't do a jump flip. I thought it would for sure. But he's got a little bite. And then we just get the plague move. That's pretty awesome. Oh, froggy man's going to be so jelly of that. Seriously, though. All right. Anyway, um, for today, I wanted to take on a whole slew. Well, first, the ethereal god. So I would use it. Hold, I still haven't decided 100 percent. and It's mixed in the comments. I totally would use it on Misty, but I'm just afraid it's going to like mess up things and make it so that Misty isn't good for why we use her. We use her for, you know, taming and everything. Um, it might add some effects I don't like. So I'm thinking of doing Spaghetti Monster or the Jellyfish. We'll probably end up doing both in the end, but neither of those are godlike yet. So I grabbed up a slew of souls, two more dimensional souls, so we can take on bosses for that. Then I would like to take on, I think today, the Resource God, Group God, if possible. Um, but to do that, we have to 
get our mantis up and running. It's got to become the group guide for the mythical type. So yeah, we, we got a lot of battles ahead of us. So let me get to it. Oh my goodness, this is so cheaty. Um, so remember how I showed you the other day about the Phoenix boss or the Phoenix Omega? How you could just keep on uh, defeating them and get more and more souls? Well, uh, yeah, apparently you could do it with the bo the uh, the boss too. And I don't know, maybe even the god. But I've just got what five five boss souls already from this guy. This is pretty awesome, because remember, you can grind up these souls uh, for shards and everything later. This guy's uh, kind of a pushover. I like it. All right, anyway, I got to move on, though, so let's go ahead and just eat them. All right, guys, this should be interesting. Um, I've got all the souls done for a mythical group guide, so I'm kind of thinking about doing it because uh, using the mantis will make our lives so much easier. Um, let's see, fairy and colossus. There we go. So I'm gonna rock this one. This fight, uh, we haven't tried it with a cosmic god, which. I think is the ideal way to do it if you don't have a Dynon. Of course, I've got the Dynon too. But um, I think it should be interesting. The best way would be with a mythical guy now, since we'd probably be immune to the Siren ability. But I don't know. I think it should be fun. I think it should be fun. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Mythical group guide. Let's go, bro. All right. There we go. Give him a second. Oh, all right. All right. We are nailing him. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. All right. As soon as the singularity ends, let's start the next one. The meteor. Come on. Keep on going, bro. And, oh, can't use that right now. All right. Why don't we do a little heal up? All right. And... Slam! That meteor is really good because this guy is so big. Uh, it pretty much, um, you pretty much get every every meteor, every comet to uh, connect. All right, dude, this is so awesome. I gotta try. I'll try him again without the Dynon, but the Dynon really helps. All right, almost there. Almost there. Come on, bro. Did it already? I don't know. Did he already do his health? All right. Nailed. And, ooh, no, he's getting his health back. Look at, look at. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he got half of his health back. All right, next one. Smash. Dude, that was such an epic fight. That is what I'm talking about. I love this dire bear. There's certain guys that, you know, they're really built for taking on, you know, other guys. And I'll tell you, the cosmic guy, oh, melts him, melts him. But the Dynon trick, yeah, that, while it works, it, it's pretty cheaty, but it is good. It is real good. Ooh, we almost missed the bag here. Let's see, what, what does a group god give? Ooh, I hear somebody... It's all basic stuff. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, that I know it's like I'm pretty sure all randomized. Well, I guess it's because he was a basic group guide. But I mean, come on now. I mean, it was still a group guide. Just get better loot drops than that. All right. Um, I think it is time that we do our mantis. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. So, uh, you, I've been holding Manas for a while. Master Mantis. Come here, brosy. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. And here he goes. And mythical group god. Boom. Wow. Look at them. <laughs> now, of course, once I pick him up and throw him back out, he'll get small again. But that is a sight to behold. My goodness. It is so epic. Imagine if he stayed that. I mean, that would be way too big, but 
That's pretty cool. You know, doing the uh, the cosmic guy. I wonder if if you uh, for, like immediately upgrade. Whoa! If you upgraded your guy, I wonder if this guy actually hits as if he's this big. He'd be able to reach to the roof. That that would be actually kind of cool. But for our purposes, well, that's gonna be annoying to be that big. All right, let's toss him back out and boom. And this guy, I've been saving up Paragons. The Mantis Paragons are actually pretty common. They fall through the world a lot. But, um, yeah, I got this guy top-tiered Paragon. It is epic. All right, and I think we need to, yeah, let's add on stuff on the saddle. And, um, yeah, I think it should be pretty good. I think it should be pretty good. And let's start to take on the resource, guys. Anyway, let me get you packed up. I'm going to go take care of that saddle stuff. Come on, bro. All right, guys. It took me quite a few enchants to get one that I actually liked enough. It's still not perfect, but it's a pretty good one. So these are all the ones that I got, and this is the one that I'm keeping. So elemental damage reduced by percentage, 83%. Damage taken reduced by 10%. The percent damage reduced are always better. Um, water damage, ice damage uh, reduced. Armor bonus, 109, which is always nice. And then wind damage reduced and melee increased by 21%. That's what sold me. Yeah. So pretty, pretty good. But normally you want damage reduced... Uh, damage taken reduced plus the percentage damage. So anyway, and then I made a multi-tool. This is the ideal weapon for this guy when taking on the uh, resource guys because it basically negates their uh, resource damage or their resource resist. So I think it should be pretty cool. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, we have, not essence, metal, we have stone, we have wood, we have pearl, we have crystal, we have obsidian. Summon resource group god! Alright! Let's stay by our pygmies. Oh, this should be interesting. I have no idea what it's going to be. Please don't be something that dismounts me, that's all I ask. Oh, Therizinosaur. I hope he can't hit through the mount. You know how some Therizinosaurs can do that? All right. How are we doing? Oh, we're doing excellent. We are doing excellent against this guy. All right. It does seem... Oh, my damage seems pretty consistent. Dude, we're melting him. Oh, very epic. All right. Those explosions, though. That's going to be what's interesting. Um. All right, come on. All right, we're melting them, dude. We are absolutely melting them. Notice the Dynon isn't doing any bleed, so this is not somebody that benefits from that. All right, we got it. We got it. And yes. There we go. Dude, that was so simple. That was incredibly simple. I mean, of course, we have an amazing Mantis, but yeah, that strat, definitely the way to go. All right, we have to decide who do we use that on? I don't even know. Like, we really don't have uh, much for resource, guys, but hey, another guy finished. I love it. Good job, Master Mantis. All right, next up, let's go and uh, let's... Let's make our uh, dimensional guys into one of them into a god. All right, guys, we are back and um, let's go ahead and uh, get our guys all done up. So we haven't done breeding with, uh, let me see, this guy or with the uh, basilisk. So instead, what we're going to do is let's bring them over nearby these things. And let's go ahead and imprint them that way using uh, S+. Plus. Now, I picked up all of my uniques because they are not allowed to get an imprinting bonus. So I wanted to make sure that no uniques become imprinted because that would not be good. I also picked up most all my gods. Um, everyone else, though, that's out now is already imprinted. 
So, here we go. And imprint pulse, imprint pulse, imprint pulse, imprint pulse, imprint pulse. Beautiful. All right, so now they just went from not being imprinted. Uh-oh. 80%. Hold on. Crap. Did it not work all the way? Let's do one more. Just in case. There we go. Beautiful. 100% imprinted and 100% imprinted. Love it. All right. Beautiful. Let me get them scooped up. Bada bing, bada boom. And let's make them godlike. What's up, Rex? How you doing? All right. I almost forgot about these guys. I have, I have guys strewn all around. Freddy the fish. And who else do we have? Dimensional little dude there. All right, very cool. Now, this jellyfish would be one of the coolest, except for... Oh, it's almost dead. Except for the fact that we need a special saddle. There's a special saddle. If you can get it for the jellyfish, it becomes, like, insanely OP. We do not have that saddle, so it doesn't really help us much. All right, you doing okay, bro? All right, get all regen up. Beautiful. And let's do the same with the Basilisk. It's probably going to end up being almost dead. All right, we good? Everything good? Oh, there it went. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right, should heal all up. Be all set. All right, awesome. All right, let's just give him a moment. That's it, buddy. Eat up. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. And Jellyfish is going to become godlike. Boom. Awesome. Oh, it changed colors too. All right, and you, sir, are going to become godlike. Boom. Oh, fancy dancy. So now they're kind of like our uh, dire wolf, remember? And they just got, I think it's... Is it a thousand percent stat boost? I don't know. It's pretty good. Definitely uh, pretty high. All right. Go ahead. Heal up. All right. Very nice. And you too, little buddy. So you are going to get packed up. And that, that guy, that was a pretty easy. By the way, I did find out. Um, I was told for taking on the ethereal boss... If you're on a group god, so i.e. Broodmother, Dodorex, Dragon, so forth, uh, they are immune to shocking you off the mount. So that's basically the trick to it. All right, cool. So this guy, we're going to get packed up. Because um, you did good, buddy. You're a god. But we are going to make our Basilisk the group god. At least first. So here goes. Boom! And it's still clear. It's got kind of like a pinkish hue to it. I don't know. Ooh, and it got fast. It got really, really fast. Good lord. All right, let's uh, pick him up real quick and throw him back out just in case there's any type of refreshing that needs to take place. All right. Awesome. Oh, you know what? I forgot we had a Carcanos too. That could have been another good contender. All right, again, easy enough boss to do. Dude, I can't get out of here. Let's teleport. Let's... Oh, where are you going? You're going too fast, bro. I know, you got a need for speed, but you're, you're way too fast. All right, we good? All right, we good. Let's go ahead, teleport to... Hmm. Let's go to the red obby. Awesome. And let's give him some food. Beautiful. Wow, yeah, definitely. It's got like a pinkish look to him. Oh, that's really cool. That's so funny. It's hard to see. Definitely hard to see. But it is massively fast. All right, so it looks like we just have one move. And it probably does all the moves from dimensional. All right, I just pressed it. I have no idea what just happened. 
I don't know if it's like random or it's for good damage. Um, we can go under the water just like we could. Now I'm kind of upset though that it didn't do the whole dimensional thing. All right, I'm glad we didn't do this on our dire wolf. Good to know. Good to know. It's still, I mean, it still flies like a dimensional, but it doesn't do the uh, dimensional shenanigans. All right, not bad. I'm not sure how I've leveled this guy thus far. I think it's pretty neat. Whoa! Did I just do that? That is nuts. I don't, I don't know what that's what is going on with that or why we did that that was cool i wonder if it's like randomized hold on hold on maybe press it hold it down no it didn't do it that time i have no idea i have no idea i suppose i could try and look it up to see all right um let's go up into the air it is so crazy fast. It is cool, though. I'm glad we did this guy. So a couple of things. First, let's wait till we stop moving. How have I leveled this guy up? Dude, we have nothing in melee yet. All I've done is a little bit of movement speed. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, so it's about to get a lot stronger. All right, guys. Having so much fun leveling this dude up. Ooh. Dude, C does something. Oh, I did not know that. So I think that the maybe the dimensional. I don't even know. I don't know how C did it. But uh, yeah, that is super cool. This guy is so unbelievably fast. Like, it's not even funny. I, I might need to dino mind wipe him and uh, turn down the speed. But I'm really glad we did this guy. Look at the sky. It's crazy looking. I don't know what I just did. I don't know, but I'm a little pink flying worm who doesn't take fall damage. And then also other things. I don't think I have to worry about stamina with this guy at all. Like barely at all. Because at least for movement and biting. Because that's part of the uh, ethereal group. I think, what is it? The spiritual? Um, I think I can go into astral too. Although, I'm not entirely sure how to do that. All right, you're right. Got stunned there. All right, well, let's just see. That is cool. We get this, like, the shadow main ability. Um, You know what? I wonder if that's the teleport. It's either the teleport or maybe it's the warp. I don't know. It's super cool, though. All right, how are we, how are we doing on levels? Once I have eight levels left, I'm eight points... Uh, too, too low for uh, the melee. All right, come on, guys. We are racking face. And uh, the other thing, it's a little disappointing. Um, while I'm in the air, if I'm flying, I can't do the special Basilisk kit. But remember, we can do Torpor and everything, too. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty sweet creature there. All right, I did... Did I just do something so I can't hit people? I might have just went astral. Ooh, oh, this is my pygmy place. I was like, what is that green thing? Wow, this guy, he's, he's not bad. All right, so we've got up to 84. I'll tell you, though, he does not level all that quick. Oh, crap, we're stuck. He gets stuck a lot. Ooh, Gamma Ray, back off, back off, bro. Come on. All right, but whenever we want, we can just take off. I just pressed C again. It didn't do anything. Hold on. I don't know if it's getting dark. Oh, there we go. I think that just put us as astral. I have no idea. I really wish that they, it said it, what it was exactly it was. There might even be more keys. Cheesy pates. This thing is so fast. And you know what? Our saddle, my upgrade on it is swim speed. So it's even faster swimming. Which that, technically, it might count towards flying too. All right, let's go. Isn't this awesome looking? Look at me. 
Yeah, at night is when this guy looks the best. I'm a little flying squiggle wiggle worm. That's so neat. I'm so happy we did the basilisk. And I would have been mad about our dire wolf being uh, mixed up. Not that we won't ever do it, but I need to uh, get my backup all prepared. All right. Oh, it is so crazy cool. Yeah, that is definitely a teleport. Or, um, the shadow main ability. It is really cool. I wish it didn't have a cooldown, though. Imagine that. Oh, I wonder if there's a unique that has whatever ability that is. If they have that without a cooldown. That would be insane. You could just spam that indefinitely. Oh, need that. Need that in our life. See, I wish, though, I could do my Basilisk hit while flying. Can't do it. All right, how we doing? I just, oh, there we go. And we are maxed out in the melee. All right, yeah, super slow going. I don't know why it's taking so long to level them up. Maybe we're just hitting smaller guys, but yeah, this, whoa, this might be our, uh, our fastest creature in all honesty. It is insanely fast. Nobody can catch us. Oh, yeah, it, it's super fun for a Basilisk. All right, come on. And not having to worry about the fall damage. Wow. This guy definitely could still be used as a knockout artist for, like, really, really big boys. So cool. All right. Anyway, guys, I think we did good today. I'll continue to level them up and whatnot. But uh, I think we did everything we set out to. Um, got tons of awesome uniques, took on the new group god. And I'm going to have to go through all my guys. I really don't know. We might have to tame something because I do not recall having anything um, worthwhile for a resource type. I know we have some, but I don't know if we have any omegas. So I'll, I'll look into it. Maybe you guys can remember. But, um, yep, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, what an epic day. Seriously, I cannot believe it. Mythical God Mantis. Super crazy. Got our God Basilisk. Very, very cool. And our new uniques. Virus, the Bulldog, Dryad, and a very good impulse. Dude, they're so cool. But anyway, guys, it's now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Dire Bear to name. And it was hard, guys. There was a lot of good names, but I'm ending up... I was, I was really hoping to find something that went well with bear or like a bear name. But I'm ending up going with Dark Matter. Very cool. For next episode, I'm thinking about renaming our Basilisk. It's Flying Spaghetti Monster right now. It could stay that, but, you know, there's other awesome names too, like Sneaky Snake, now that he's all sneaky, or who knows, you guys let me know. And, yeah, why not? We'll see if the if the Mantis should get another name too. It's Mant Master Mantis currently. Of course, the Uniques, we leave them as is because they already have their own name, so I think it's pretty cool. And also, I'd like to know from you guys, which boss would you like me to take on next? Uh, we got left. Let's just see. We have done all those. Resource we just did. So we have unstable. Uh, we have utility, rage, nature, guardian. So those are the ones we have left. Let me know what you want to see. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please remember to show that amazing support. 
by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. Also, be sure to check out our Discord. Yes, to be part of the community. Uh, link is in description below as well as where I live stream. Anyway, guys, see you tomorrow. As always, peace out.